Okay, I have another replication here that uh, caught my attention on the Energetic Forum. Uh, Gina came up with a CFL light circuit, a fluorescent light circuit that I really, really was attracted to that runs off of one AA battery. And she was able to wind a toroid coil on a big three and a quarter inch ferrite core and get a 15 watt uh, light bulb to run for five hours on a double A. And so I just had to do this and I had to see what it was all about. And I changed things a couple things a little bit different, but basically I've got 300 turns of 30 gauge wire here. And then I've got uh, three turns here of like 24 gauge and 13 windings here 24 gauge and another 10 turns here of the 24 gauge. Now the circuit is extremely simple and this is why I do these things. If they're real simple I, I like to share them and, and tell people that it can be done. It can be done on your kitchen table, countertop, whatever. And you have a lot of fun doing it. It's just a Radio Shack 2 and 3055 uh, transistor uh, I put a 22 ohm resistor in here. It really should have a 100 ohm or more, but I wanted it to get bright, so I, I toned it way down there. And I'm using my trusty old 25 ohm rheostat to adjust the power coming into here. And uh, I found that very uh, successful. Here again, Radio Shack sells them for a couple bucks and just a AA battery. Now, Gina did this with this 15 watt bulb. It does come on. I can make it light up, but I didn't like the brightness. So I switched to a, uh, a little 10-watt uh, CFL gutted. And I tried this with all different kinds of things, going all the way up to 20-watt long bulb and different voltages. But I like this setup here. And this is why. It sits right inside that toroid coil there. And I might make a little holder for it. But it's a real cute little thing. And uh, the uh, on the circuit here, the trigger wire is three turns. And this extra 10 turns was just something I wound there as an extra. And I found out you can uh, light up an LED off of it very, very bright and turn this rheostat way down. And it almost likes like, acts like a normal jewel thief where you come off the collector and down to the negative rail. And uh, it lights up one of these 3 volt LEDs super bright on a 1.5 volt battery. So let me show you how it works. I got a little AA battery, just like a Duracell AA. There's my little rheostat. There's the transistor. There's the little resistor here. There's the LED I'm going to show in a minute. There's my little 10 watt uh, CFL with no guts in it. And there's the windings. Let me turn it on. I'll show you how it works. There it goes. That's the cutest little light. You know, I just thought that was just nifty. And, uh, that little uh, 10 watt uh, spiral bulb lights up real nice and bright and I liked it better than the long bulb which kind of lit up but it didn't light up real bright and then my little rheostat here I can turn it down and make it go dimmer with the rheostat and make it go on down until it, it goes off turn it back up again it goes real bright but uh, I like this. This is a cute little thing. And I get about as much light out of this as some of the other circuits that I'm running with a 9-volt battery. And that's just running on uh, a AA. Uh, amperage draw is pretty high. It's probably 100 milliamps or so. But uh, the little uh, Fuji camera circuits draw more than this. So I liked this. This will probably run uh, uh, several hours, maybe three or four hours, whatever. But... Uh, Maybe five hours. I might run that long. I might try it tonight, especially if I turn this down a little bit so the amp draw isn't quite so much. It'll start cooking off at about 30, 40 milliamps way down there. Uh, I'll actually get some light out of it, but then when it's super bright, it's way up there, probably 100 milliamps or so. But then this is the other part of it. See this little LED right here? Now if I plug this into that last winding, this just comes on super bright. It turns off the CFL. And now the light's coming out of that. And that's on there really, really bright. Now I can turn that down too until it goes off. But uh, this is drawn probably down there 20, 30 milliamps at that point there. Now I'm going to turn the lights off here. You can see this, what it's like with no lights on it. 
Okay, there's the LED going right there. I'll turn it up as bright as I can. And there's the LED brightness. That's quite a bit of light coming out of that AA battery. That's just a one and a half volt AA battery. Now let me turn the uh, CFL back on again. And there's the CFL. Now that that is quite a darn bit of light there, folks, for a little one and a half volt battery driver circuit on that toroid. So I got to give this one a, a major thumbs up. This is Gina's light, and uh, you can uh, find out more about her circuits by uh, going over to her website. I'm not sure what it is, but if you go to Energetic Forum and look it up on the big Jewel Thief thread, um, she's got all this stuff posted over there and links to her website. And uh, she's done some phenomenal work with the Jewel Thief, especially with these toroids, the big toroids with multiple windings. And that's her forte is she, she puts lots of windings on these uh, toroids and uses it. And uh, this was a winner. I liked this one a lot. This little uh, this little jewel thief with a great big toroid. <laughs> Lots of fun.